Hey, hey, I've always wanted to vlog and make YouTube videos and I've never been brave enough. I've always thought if I do it, then maybe it might be good and maybe people might not like it. But I've kind of got to the point where I'm just like, I need to try this. And now my dog wants to go outside. <laughs> Here you go, darling. <laughs> so I moved into this house last July in 2020. And since we moved here, we have literally done so many renovations. We have done this entire kitchen, which I'm in right now. Excuse the cloth. I was about to do are about to do a little clear out for you for you guys and then this is the dining room and i'm honestly so proud of how it turned out um i do have a clip of how it looked before and if i can find it i will insert it here it looks like this and there are beautiful big doors on that side we're going with herringbone and what we are doing is we are knocking down this wall entirely and the kitchen will start from here and this is the kitchen now i feel so happy with the change um i feel like saying it and showing you the transition so quickly makes it seem like it was an easy process but it was probably the most stressful renovation um we literally spent months upstairs in the bedroom and that being our only free room surrounded by loads of furniture but i'm really really happy with it now so yeah so i'm gonna be tidying up this cupboard and this is the cupboard where i keep all of my dogs stuff and all of our like medicine but what I actually want to do um, is I would like to stand the house and have a proper amazing utility room we are in the stages of um, like working out the drawing with the architect at the moment but that's not going to be the first project I think the first project will either be the master bedroom upstairs, and that's if we have space up there. Our architect is currently figuring out, figuring out if the space is big enough to become a master bedroom. Or it will be the end of the garden, gym and annex, which for context, I will show you what it looks like right now. So this is the garden and it looks like a jungle. We've recently had our fences done, as you can see. Well, I hope you can see. <laughs> and um, I just don't want to start um, the landscaping of the garden until the building is done and the building is going to be quite a while away. It probably won't start till next year if it starts because it is really, really hard to book in any kind of builders at the moment. Those are my house plans and I have a massive renovation coming up in like next month when I'm going to be doing the hallway. Um, I will show you the hallway and just tell you a little bit about what we're going to be doing. So this is my hallway currently. I have this beautiful table and mirror which I'm obsessed with. Here's my old downstairs loo. And this is my brand new front door which I absolutely love. <laughs> um, so we are ripping out the stairs in a month. I can't even believe I'm saying that and it sounds extremely over the top and extravagant. Um, but probably is the truth because I, I don't actually know anyone who's ever ripped out their stairs before so yeah <laughs> we're sorting out the head height here because it is a massive issue up there it's actually extremely low and we're going to try and um, get as much space as we can and we're going to have a cut string staircase that um, is, has like an oak um, handrail that comes around and twists out. And then we're gonna have storage underneath here. And I want a runner on the stairs. And I'm honestly so excited about it. I've also ordered some um, steel doors to go here and here, which is amazing. And then we also did do our little office renovation when we moved in. <laughs> we have done so, many renovations this is more of like the boys 
office room and this is actually a TV and I don't know why there's deodorant there but there is so yeah my house at the moment <laughs> so I'm gonna start clearing out my pantry area and I have a little addiction to buying my dogs treats I think I just love to spoil them and they are the best to be honest they make me so happy this is their dental stick treat um, jar and I'm just gonna fill it up and Too many treats, probably. So, probably not the best thing, but I just absolutely love boiling them. And they make me very happy. I got Harley um, two years ago. This wrapping is probably really loud. I got Harley two years ago, and I got bread in January 2020 and they bring me a lot of joy i feel like it might be a little bit low <laughs> so i'm gonna empty out this cupboard and try and make it prettier in here I so that's nice shampoo and the bowls are at the back so i think it looks okay for now i mean um I feel like having really cute and tidy interiors is a lot harder to do than it sounds. <laughs> I've been loving these recently. <laughs> so, so finally I'm gonna do probably the worst looking little cubby in these drawers got a drink for motivation so let's go I try really hard to organize their stuff but I always find it quite hard as the dogs have a lot of stuff first of all I'm going to try and organize things into what they are and show my face viewfinder so this box here is for dog poo bags so i need to find all of those and put them in here um some of them are in a bit of a mess but that's okay um there are just so many i also keep tennis balls in here because my my dog has a huge problem with tennis balls you can't even talk about them around her because she goes mental and wants to chase them and that is not sustainable so we do hide the tennis balls in here which does sound quite cruel but it's the way forward and she's looking at me now i'm talking about it right so we have one thing <laughs> for our poo bags and then the next thing i'm gonna put oh dear Okay, yeah, she's just gone mad. I don't know if you heard, she just ran to the garden after hearing that. Great. I'm gonna have to be really tactical. So I've put some tennis balls in here, purely because we have to hide them, as I said. I have like a little puppy harness in here, which I probably ought to get rid of. And now I'm just on top of there, I'm just gonna put some of these long leaves and these because that's all that's in the rest of these little baskets although we did get fred a new harness so i don't know which order i'm going to put that in <laughs> but I, i'm doing that in this vlog or at least i filmed it so i hope that it'll make it in and then we have some really superfluous things like this which do not need to stay up there okay Oh, and let's not forget this for when the dogs go to work. They need that. <laughs> and then we have 
just their go-to jumpers, which I have more, but like I just keep these two here because these two are like at the moment if we have a cold day. Because although in England right now the weather is lovely, hence why I'm wearing a summer dress, you never know. England is very unpredictable. And the weather is very up and down. So I guess that looks better. I mean I might get this little in here. But you know, tried. <laughs> Trying to organize <laughs> the cupboards. And then finally I'm gonna go lower. and do my cleaning cupboard, which I'm gonna move the camera onto the floor for. So this is the finished cupboard. This is the medicine one. It doesn't look that great because you have a lot of big bulky items and I'm not this side looks good, but the other side looks a bit messy, but. And then here's the cleaning cupboard, and I really like how I've put everything together that's the same. And then the cleaner's little caddy. And yeah, that is the cupboard. <laughs> so I realized yesterday, and I know this honestly sounds horrendous, but I realized that Freddie's harness wasn't fitting him properly and he had like a little cut from where he had obviously outgrown it so I'm gonna go to buy him a brand new one <laughs> because I obviously I don't want him I don't want Fred in a harness that doesn't fit him so yeah I'm gonna go get him a harness that fits him right bless him so this is the dog's setup in the back of the car. I absolutely love it. <laughs> They've got their little seat belts and their little beds. Hello doggies. Hello. Take off the cardboard. Yeah, Sorry. Yeah, yeah. I don't mean his head's gonna fit in that. Mm. Maybe not, yeah. I know. If not, we'll go for a concrete harness instead. Oh, oh it does. Oh. Oh. oh no, it's too tight, is it? Or is it? Just loosen it up a little bit. Maybe it's too high. Where's that? There. Yeah. He's such an awkward size. I tried a million and I just like. <laughs> he looks so cute in it, right? Got his new harness today, and honestly, he looks so sweet. Hey, Fred! Say hey, Fred! Say hey! <coughs> oh! No, <laughs> Harley's getting jealous, but. Yeah, this is Fred's new harness. He looks so cute in it. <laughs> I just had a delivery. Um, I'm completely obsessed with pajamas. I have a full-on problem. I just love ordering. <laughs> I order them all the time. So I just ordered two heads of pajamas. And I actually saw them on popular divorces page, like the advertisement for them. Wow. Okay. So cute. Okay, I've got cute little tissue paper. And I'm gonna unwrap them for you. <laughs> um wow. Wow, these are so cute. Okay, so they've come in like a little bag from Hush. Cute are these. And then I 
open the bag. Oh my God. So the only issue is I bought them in quite a big size. So I always find that whenever I wear hanging pajamas, I always manage to shrink them. So I'm really hoping these aren't far, far too big because they look rather huge. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try on one of them. Is <laughs> they're both, um, this is the other one. I'm gonna try one of them on to check. I have not ordered a far too big a size. And then we will see. <laughs> so they are rather big. I kind of like it because, you know, you're, oops, <laughs> you're not going to have like a massively. I think whenever I bought pajamas that are like whatever, like size 8, I've regretted it because I put them in the wash and they've shrunk and then they've not felt comfortable and my butt doesn't fit them. <laughs> so my butt fits these, even though, yeah, I kind of like massive long pajamas because i find them a lot more cozy and i don't normally wear them when i'm asleep depending on how cold they are but like how what the <laughs> what the weather's like if it's really really hot then obviously i'll just wear these in the evening but actually i think although they're really baggy it's really comfy so i like them <laughs> Okay, and then the other one I got was these, which are pink. And I absolutely love them. Well, I love the idea of them. So let's see what they look like. <gasps> Whoa. So these are exactly the same size. But they are pink and they look like this. Wow, these are so cute. I would definitely be keeping these. And the material does feel really nice, and I'm really happy. Although I never really know what to do with this. <laughs> you just have it like when you go away and just keep it. Hey, so I thought I would show you um, my nighttime skincare routine. So I recently decided that I wanted to have a better skincare routine as I was not doing really anything fancy with my face i would wash it sometimes <laughs> for bed and now um i have got a really good skincare routine with lumiere and i would like to show you what i do yeah i've just i've just had a blow dry so i'm feeling pretty good <laughs> And then I turn this on. I think it's called Illumi, Illumi Spa. And I turn it on. And it looks like this. And then I go to all of the points on my face. So it's got like a timer on it. And it's really good as it's like really exfoliating on my face. And my skin feels really soft after I've used it. And it helps to prevent blackheads and things like that. And I like it. So it kind of like pauses and then you go to the next kind of area of your face. And there's four pauses. <laughs> I honestly think it is definitely changed my skin so much from using this I just have to be really disciplined 
because I will admit sometimes it is really hard to really tie it to do a full skin routine. However, my skin routine is probably slightly easier than most people's because I don't really wear much makeup. Um, if ever really, I, I never wear mascara. I just don't really wear much makeup. So yeah, I just go on all the areas on this side of my face. And then you just have to do your chin. And then it will stop, which means it's done. And then I just wash my limbs out, obviously. And then I wash my face. And then after I have dried my face, I go in and use Illumier's um, Ultimate Boost, which is something I probably like the thing I, is what I use every morning and every night, um, regardless of if I'm getting up or why I'm going to bed. So I put this on, and then once or twice a week, I use retinol. In fact, I need to get a lot better at being more strict with myself using this. So I use retinol. Um, And then I just go in and use an eye cream. <laughs> okay, it's not focusing. Come on, here we go. I have this little eye cream, and I will admit I'm not as good at my eye eye care, and I probably need to use eye cream more. So. <laughs> But when I'm being really good, this is what I do. And then I don't, I don't sleep with my hair up because um, I don't find it comfortable. So take it down. And that is what I do before bed. <laughs> and obviously brush my teeth. Hi, I realized that I didn't really end the video anywhere. So this is the end, I really hope that you liked it and if you did please subscribe to me and i look forward to having you back on my channel